Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? And welcome back to my Let's Play of Tomb Raider 2. We are on level 12, Barkang Monastery. The first thing you will want to do in this level is turn to the right here and there will be a battle between the monks and some gunmen here. Now there's two options available to you here. You can either help the monks kill the gunmen or you can just ignore and leave them to it. It's up to you, the player. It's not looking good. Well, we've got one gunman down and we've got one monk down. Okay, so the monks have won this one. The monks will not attack Lara unless she attacks at them first. So, as you can see, I've pulled out my guns here they're going into a defensive state basically saying do not attack we are friendly and they are friendly until you accidentally shoot them if you accidentally shoot them or damage one of them even accidentally they will turn on you and they will be very very angry with Miss Lara Croft so try not to attack them and like I said before, there's going to be a lot of gun battles in this level. You can choose to help them or you can stay out of it if you're playing through the game yourself. Some people actually kill the monks as well as the gunmen, but that is just more ammo expenditure. There's a, a raven up here. Just kill him. But it's up to you, the player, how you want to play the game. And it's your playstyle. It's not my playstyle. It's, it's your decision, is what I'm basically trying to say. Okay, so up here, there's another two ravens. Please tell me I didn't hit him. Did I hit that? Did I hit that monk? Did I hit you, sir? No, I guess not. I guess not. I guess the uh, the bullet didn't hit him, thankfully for us. Because he's not attacking us, so that was lucky. I prefer to stay on the monk's good side if I can in this level because this is the only level you will actually be helping the monks there are no other levels really with the monks so this is the only level where they'll make an appearance And this is quite a long level, one of the longest levels of the, the older Tomb Raider games. So, it might go over the 35 minute mark that I normally have for my videos. But that's not generally a problem because it's, it's more Tomb Raider for you guys. And this guy just tried to claw my legs off. Not happening. Oh, come on now. Okay, do a side jump to the left here. And angle yourself so that you just walk off and grab the edge, let go, grab again and then shimmy all the way to the left and then climb up and then we just head through the window that we smashed or well, I smashed 
Now, if you keep going forward into the room at the end here, there'll be another gunman that will enter. So what I do is I just aggro him. And there's another monk in here. And, well, there's two monks, but... There'll be a couple more gunmen here, so... Oh, good job, guys. So he drops a small mini pack and some Uzi ammo. Uh -huh. And if you try to save ammo, it's good. The monks help you in this level because you can just save ammo. So we've got a monk down here. Let's let's get him. Let's uh, deal some damage at least. Automatic pistol ammunition. And there's some grenades here, so I'll just be taking them. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head to the left, where we triggered those two monks. There'll be some ladders, wooden ladders here that we can climb to the top. At the top there is a very very large statue in the room we are about to be in but we get a nice glimpse of Lara's square bottom as you can say there. Lovely nice to look at while she's grunting while climbing ladders there is a key here that we need so i'll be taking this mm -hmm. thank you and this is this is basically the main room with the statue here we will actually climb that statue a little bit later on in the video but for now just ignore it and then head to the left There'll be a room that you can drop into here. Inside here is a ramp leading up, but it's guarded by a giant Scotch egg. Well, it's a boulder really, but it looks like a giant Scotch egg to me, so avoid the Scotch egg and run up to where the Scotch egg was. There is a second delicious scotch egg here, so roll onto these flares and then head in here and let the scotch egg pass you. So head up here and you'll come to a large pool. In this pool is a current. Jump in, but try and keep to the wall here because the current will try its hardest to suck you down in the middle. But if you just fight the current a little bit like this, you can get by it no problem. Okay, there's a long drop here. So, in the words of Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden, Scream for me, Lara! Scream for me! Light a flare here, because there's a couple of traps. These metallic doors. Most famously made an appearance in the original Tomb Raider. Just time your runs through them. I think there's three we need to get through. So just 
just wait until they're fully open and then run through them. There we go. There'll be a couple more to deal with much later on in the video. And there's some more ladders here. So at the top of these ladders there'll be a monk and what appears to be a large storeroom. In the storeroom in the darkness is a gunman. So looking good is it? Uh -huh. There's going to be another enemy in here. Another gunman. Yeah. I know he's got an Uzi. Those things will just cut you to shreds. I don't think he drops anything. Oh, he does not drop anything. Okay, up here is the first of five prayer wheels. So you'll need to collect five of these in the game. So this is the first one. Once you pick this one up, the flames will turn on and it's pretty easy to just... What's going on here? What the hell are you doing, Lara? Sorry about that, I don't know what happened there. And then just do a normal jump here. And pull out this wooden block. Here to pull out. This will lead you back to the area with the two boulders passed before. So now we just need to go back to where we found that key with the statue. Which was just here. And then make our way back down the ladder's hair. So the key we picked up before is called the main hall key. Oh, be careful in there, there's traps. 
So I'll use the key here on this white recess, this white key lock. And head inside here for another up close look at the statue. As you approach the statue, some more gunmen will enter behind. So the monks will then be fighting them again. Come on buddy, you've got this. Yes! He drops a large midi pack. One down. Not good. Not good guys, but he fought valiantly. pistol ammo here. Okay so now that we're in this large hallway you can either go to the left here or the right. Heading to the right and through the opening at the end here. Just past these two tables. There'll be a couple of traps to evade here. These steel blades but they're pretty easy to avoid. Just jump. And then here will be a key for us. And this key is the key to the strong room. Now the strong room is actually where that gunman bust through the room. What the hell? Are you inhuman or something? That monk just passed through those blades without even taking any damn. Oh, it took some damage there, but it's fine. I have a lot of health packs, so it's not really an issue for me. I'm bound to use a few medi packs in this level anyway, because it is quite a long level, so. So now that we have the strong room key. going to be heading back and using the strong room key on this locked door here and inside what's inside guys what do you think's inside is it another prayer wheel or a key it is drum roll please another key guys so uh -huh. This key leads to the rooftops. So that's where we're going to be heading now, the rooftops. Now to get to the rooftops it is pretty heavily guarded by two traps here. But they're not difficult to avoid. You just wait for this one to roll back and then run forward. Okay, head up to the stairs here. And at the top, there'll be some more fixtures with flames on. Go to where these two golden statues are and around the corner there'll be a lever. Pull the lever. This will turn the fixtures off, the fire jets, but it's on a timer so you need to be pretty quick. But sometimes here the, the ornaments or the fixtures can stop you in your tracks with the jumps as you saw there, up that one as well. 
Okay, up here, there's some ammo for your M16. At the end, to the right here. Just missed another battle with the monks. Can you guys see that? Not many people know this, but if you look to the side here, you'll notice the eyes moving left and right. And I didn't notice that myself, but playing this level a couple of times, it stuck out to me, and I just thought I'd include it in the video. So. I don't know if it was a glitch or it was intended by the developers to do that. Anyway, so let's take the ammo uh -huh. and the medipack. Just another day at the office for you, isn't it, my friend? Watching your brothers die. Let's pull this lever here. And then we can drop down here. Smash these windows and pick up the two gemstones. Now these things look tiny, but when you actually use them, they're anything but tiny. Around here, pull the lever. And then climb up to get out of this enclosure. Okay, so now we need to move this giant golden star, I guess it, you could call it. There are two statues here and you place in here one of the gemstones. But They look small but when you actually use them, look at the size of that. It's absolutely huge. I mean it goes through Lara's own abdomen. <laughs> That's how crazy this, this game is. It's just, yeah, the details in it. Pull out the block here, and behind this wooden block is our second prayer wheel. Okay, I think one more. Should be able to get behind it. It's a little bit tricky to get behind it, but it's completely doable. Come on, can I climb it? There we go. Okay, there's our second prayer wheel. Two down, three to go. So now that we've done everything on the rooftops section, let's return to the bottom level. And we're going to go into the main hall where the large statue is. Once again, be careful of these bladed traps here. I can get a bit closer. There we go. Okay, back in the main hall here.
head to where this monk is climbing the stairs. Now you can get the first secret here if you want to. It's pretty easy to get. It's actually just behind the statue. Up this slope is an opening in the back of the statue. And in here you will find Gold Dragon. The very very first secret of this level that you can obtain is the gold the gold dragon. So now we're gonna do a little bit of block moving because in here you will be able to get some hidden ammunition. So you pull this movable block what's this monk just go through it like I don't need no I don't need no special um, access to get through this block just use telekinesis and stand on here and then I think if I remember rightly there's some automatic pistol ammunition hidden somewhere in this room I don't always get get it right but I can't because of these in the way I can't move the block so I'm gonna have to move it back once and then I might be able to push it into the small space there we'll see it's kind of tricky to get the ammo in this room can't push it forward. Oh, I could be out a while while I suss this out. I'm not, I'm not going to stay here all day if I can't really figure out how to get the ammo because all it is all it is is just automatic pistol ammo and some harpoons that's that's basically all it is and we haven't really been using the harpoon gun that much so it's really not that important But well, I'll try my best for you guys to show you. There we go, there's the automatic pistol ammo. Uh -huh. And the harpoons are actually just behind this crate here. But I can't push it, so. Unless you're going for all ammo pickups, then you really shouldn't worry because I have plenty of ammo for the harpoon gun. I have hardly used it. I've got 54 arrows, harpoon gun arrows. But if you want everything then yeah you'll have to push the boxes and yeah that's all it is but it's just harpoon harpoon uh, arrows <laughs> Okay, so what I'll do now is push this block back. one to make 
room, I guess. Okay, I can't push this one, but let me see if I can do it from this side. Oh. Why are you doing this to me, game? Why? And I'm not going to be able to pull this. Because there's no way I'm, I can... Yeah, it's only harpoons. I'm not really... I'm not really too bothered. If there was another... Another block... I could push. I would, you know... Probably be able to show you guys, but... It's just not going to happen by the looks of things here. No, she's just not grabbing it. Yeah, sorry about that guys, but it's, it's at least I've shown you where the automatic pistol ammunition was. You know, it's only harpoon, harpoons really. Okay, so we're going to go and get our third prayer will now. Getting this one is a little bit tricky. And I always seem to screw up at this part of the level. Uh, what we'll do first is we'll get this battle out of the way. Okay, so that takes care of the gunman. And he drops some grenades and Uzi clips. And his friend here drops nothing. So this room is where you can get another key, but also you can get another secret. What you have to do here is once you stand on this this tile here, this flame jet will go out. But you also have two swinging spiked hemispheres now what our goal is to do is run off the tile that extinguishes the flame drop into the opening there without taking a hit preferably so get as close as you can really I think as long as you stand on this tile that I'm on I'm just a little bit off the tile now so if I go forward you, this is as close as I'm probably going to get. And then you can either choose the left side or the right side. It doesn't really matter. This part of the, the level is a bit of a pain to get through. So if you don't feel too confident, I would save your game. And as a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do now. I, I'm going to save my game. So if I do die, I can just reload my save and start from here so the best advice I can give you here choose a side the left or the right now as soon as it just say you chose the right side like I've chose as soon as the right part of the trap here starts to swing away from you run As you can see, it's swinging back and forth. You've really, really got to time this perfectly. Now, okay, I was successful and I didn't get hit, but it's not done yet, guys, because we've got to do another one. Now, if you manage to do that without getting hit, give yourself a pat on the back because you more than deserve it but this time it's going to be a little bit more tricky you have to do the same thing again but with a spinning bladed trap here so there's a bit more pressure on you to get it done properly so once again if you manage to get past the first set without taking any damage save your game
this part is tricky. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Didn't even take a hit. I'm actually pretty damn proud of myself now, guys. The first time I've done that without taking a hit. Okay, so, save once again. Now, if you are interested in getting all the secrets in this level, you are able to get another secret just here. There is an alcove just to the right of this disc. So, I recommend waiting for it to come towards you. And then, as it's going back, make a run for the alcove. You have probably more time if you do it that way. Wait in here and then wait until it passes once again. We have these doors that we saw previously. Get as close as you can, but not too close that they slice your face off. Wait till they open, roll through. Two sets. Behind the second set is a little prison. The Jade Dragon. I'll just chuck my flare like that. Like, I don't need a flare. Lyra's like, flare? What flare? I don't need no damn flare. Pick up the Jade Dragon. That's two secrets in the bag, guys. One left. Disc to go past, get in the alcove, and then once again, time you run past it. That was close. Whew. Time to save my game again. Pick up the key. The trapdoor key. Okay, so we're pretty close to our third prayer wheel. Um, go ahead and slide in here, there's water, so you'll be fine. If you want to get the final secret, it's just in this square opening here. And there it is, the stone dragon. If you manage to do it, congratulations. You are awesome. Okay, now we can climb out. There's another monk there doing his patrols. So now we have, I believe it's two prayer wheels. I'll show you where you actually use the prayer wheels. For anyone really wondering where the prayer wheel, where you actually use these prayer wheels. Okay, to the left of the statue here is an opening. And there's a room that connected to the statue. And in this room is where you'll use the prayer wheels. 
as you can see there's prayer wheels here but several of them are missing five to be exact and this is where you'll use them so now that we have the trapdoor key let's go and use said trapdoor key oh sorry Lara Alright, drop down the opening here that's opened and then climb up here There's a couple of monks here but I'd just ignore this room for now because we'll be coming back to this room well, let's follow this monk and outside here is like a large canyon area so out here is where you'll have to be very careful because there's another monk coming up so now we need to get up there So look for a little opening here with a ladder. Now getting up this for the first time is not a problem but you may have trouble getting down from this area. Okay, so we're at the top level now. I recommend using a fast weapon here because there's going to be a raven and there's going to be a gunman. So I'll use let's use the, the automatic pistols. The raven actually triggers to the left here. You can't see him at the moment, but as you go to cross this bridge he will spawn and as you go to cross this bridge a gunman will appear so what I'll do is I kill the gunman first and then I kill the raven and pick up the M16 ammo he drops head up here but be very very careful at the top here because there's another monk but also there is two ravens so as you go up here just be very very careful that you don't target the monk so lucky for us he was in the corner he was pretty safe it's alright buddy don't worry I'm not going to hurt you I come in peace Okay, so in this building here is our third prayer wheel. So, do a running jump and a grab. Let's climb up onto this platform here. And then, a running jump and a grab to grab onto the roofing here drop down the square opening here and we will be in a room with prayer wheel number three three down two to go now when you open this door a gunman will spawn and he will be in fighting with the monk so 
that you can either just let them fight it out and then finish the job like so or you can join in and offer assistance Come on, you've got this. I'm rooting for you, buddy. Come on. Oh, you piece of crap. You have been avenged, my friend. Okay, so now that we've got the third prayer wheel, we need to go back all the way to that door i shown you guys. Now, getting back down is a bit of a pain because the ladders we use to get up here, we have to take those ladders down again. So you're probably saying, what's the problem? Well, you have to jump at an angle here for Lara to grab onto the ladders. Save your game and then just tr try and angle it a little, a little to the right here. I mean, you can just, if you have a full health bar, you can get away with it with a full health bar. But yeah, I'll just, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's, it's fine. But really, you're supposed to angle her and then jump and grab and then. Hope to God she grabs hold of the ladder. She doesn't always grab hold of the ladder, as you saw in my instance there. Oh, you ain't killing me today. Not gonna happen. You didn't drop anything either. Looks like someone was fighting while I was away. Let's open this door. Oh, this is not good. A lot of the uh, gunmen have survived, so... Okay. They've got this guy easy. Yeah, easy. Took care of that guy easy. You do not drop anything. You are as tight as anything, gunman. Alright, so let's head in the left now. Climb up the ladders and this will lead you to the heightened position where the statue is. So this will lead you on the same level as the statue. Do a running jump and grab. And then climb up the right side here of the statue's hand. Do a running jump, don't grab because she'll make jump as you see here. really want to overshoot this so I'm just going to do a standing jump okay perfect and a standing jump grab here 
This is where you'll use the second gemstone. And this will open a trapdoor below where the statue is. So to get down from the statue, you can just slide down the right here and Lara should slide right off. And then you'll hopefully land in his lap. I'll die like that. Let's try that again. And I should have went down backwards. That was my mistake, it didn't go down backwards. So that's probably why I died, because I did not go down backwards. So let's drop down here, this trap door that we've opened. <laughs> Alright, so this is where we, where we need to drain the water here. This is where we got the final secret now we need to drain the water here. So pull this lever. This will open the doorway here where the water is flowing through. So pull this block over the waterfall and it will stop the water going into that room. So from the left push it forward. <coughs> And it will just cut off the water supply there. And now that room is bone dry. There's no water at all, as you can see here. Slide down backwards. Do not go forwards because you will probably take a lot of damage. But if you slide down backwards, you might be able to withstand the fall. So now we're actually in what was the submerged part of the water here. Push this movable block. What's behind this movable block, you say? Another prayer wheel. So we have four prayer wheels now, guys. We have one more prayer wheel left to find. Where is it? I know where it is, but do you guys know where it is? Those of you that have played this game millions of times probably know exactly where it is. So I'll now go back out to where the statue is. Be careful that you don't fall. Does that really, really, really suck? Watch where you're pointing that thing, my friend. I don't want to be a shish kebab. Pretty much been out here, but I just want to see if there's anything I've missed. Did I get the grenades from here before? Yes, I did. Yes, that was fine. So the left path leads up to a statue.
I don't think we went to the end here. I don't think we explored all the way at the bottom. But we did get a key from here before. Nothing in here, of course. Story of my life. Why would there be anything in here? Okay, so let's see if there's anything I missed over here. There probably is a couple of things, but you can never be too too careful. Yeah, we've been here before. It's just finding this last prayer wheel entrance to it more than anything. Is that an opening that I can jump through? Oh I don't think it's I don't think it's just part of the wall. actually down here we've not been yeah I remember now because the bottom down here all right so there'll be a trap door here and as you jump over it it will open so I'll be very very careful of that but you can grab the ladder here I don't think there's anything at the bottom I just think it's just just there to trip you up basically. Alright, so yeah, we're on the right track here guys. There's gonna be a window here, shoot out the window. Drop through because there's gonna be a couple of gunmen that follow Lara. And these monks are just gonna be going crazy, but because they sense enemies nearby and that is why they're just going crazy as you can hear now but we can get our final prayer wheel and then they can have their victory so the actual final prayer wheel is up here guys As it gets darker up here, you may want to light a flare. Mm -hmm. 
and I think it's just one more level up and then we have the final prayer wheel they definitely well hid them okay so it should be up here on the platform behind me and there it is the final prayer wheel uh -huh. give yourself a pat on the back and a round of applause if you manage to find all five now getting back down you can choose the slow and safe way or the more daring way the more daring way and the quicker way is you just hang and drop turn around hang drop and you do this all the way down to the last one you'll land here but what you want to do here I would personally just grab the ladder you don't want to suffer any more damage that one we've already got so yeah just grab the ladder and take yourself to the bottom these monks are going crazy here now so Okay, no problem. I'll just use this lever that will open the door and then they'll head in here. And then there'll be some more gunmen. One of the monks has already died. That's not good. They're getting absolutely destroyed here. Oh, they lost. They got destroyed. That's fine. Surprise, mother. Uh. You were expecting me, were you? So, let's pick up. The spells of war. There's another one. Not today, my friend. Not today. A large medi pack. And he drops a small medi pack. This guy does not drop anything because he's a cheap ass. But unfortunately for us, the monks lost the battle. But they did put up a good fight, guys, so we'll give them that. They fought like warriors to the end, and they died like warriors. So now that we've got all the prayer wheels, guys, the only thing that's left to do, really, is take them to that room i shown you previously, and just finish the level. And that's pretty much all we have to do now. There's nothing else to obtain, there's no more secrets, there's no more items, everything is done. So, like I said, to get access to it you just head up here and around. in this room one two Three, 
Four. Five. This will open the giant door. Inside here. Head up the slope and there'll be a little pedestal where you have to use another key item. Now we already have the item and it's the Seraph. So I'll use the Seraph to open a tiny tiny door at the bottom. And that is the end of Barkhand Monastery guys. We're done. So that was Barkhand Monastery. It took me a little bit longer to do that level. It's one of the more longer levels of Tomb Raider 2. 1 hour 6 minutes, 5 seconds, all 3 secrets, 17 kills, and we used a few health packs. So thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, be safe. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you would like to do so. Bye for now.